Hey guys at MDTV, it's Dave Mad Max this is with my good buddy, Stan McQuay. Big Stan, welcome back to the show, man. Thanks for having me. <laughs> yeah. I'm so glad you're back. We're about exactly two weeks out from the Arnold Classic 212, and Stan is going back to the stage. Very, very exciting, man. How long has it been since you've been here? Oh, wow. I competed. I competed uh, 2011 was last time. I qualified for the Olympia that year. And I decided to bypass it because, uh, you know, I spend a little more time with my kids and actually start working on a new business that we'll get into, I'm sure, yeah. sure here in the interview. Yeah. So you have, how many kids is that for you? I know your family is growing. Every time I see you, there's a new baby. <laughs> how many kids do yeah. you have? Yeah, I actually have three kids now. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, a daughter and uh, two boys. That's awesome. You got Kai and who is, who's, what's the name of the last one? Well, my, my daughter is Tatiana and my son's Kai, which uh, you, a lot of people have seen. And right. my new one is Zen. Nice. Yeah, we're, we named him Zen uh, in hopes of him being more Zen because my, my three-year-old Kai, he's a, he's a wild one. So. He's not Zen. <laughs> yeah, he's nuts, yeah. So he'll balance him out. Hopefully he'll balance him out. So, Stan, it's, it's very exciting. It's the first year that the Arnold Classic has a 212 division. It's a, it's a stack lineup. I think it's going to be just as exciting, if not more, than the actual open class. So tell me a little bit of the story about uh, you coming back to the stage for the Arnold Classic. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty interesting. I mean, you know, I had been asking, even while I was bodybuilding, a lot of us were asking the committee, why don't they have a 212 at the Arnold? Um, you know, they really wasn't in the, in the picture anytime soon. So, you know, I, I was a little bit burned out with bodybuilding once again. And like I said, I, I needed to try some different ventures with business. So uh, one of the things was, I, since I quit doing a lot of the bodybuilding movements and power movements, I was really trying to get streamline and try to lose as much weight as I could and, and really work on a lot more of the calisthenics. Uh, I was uh, really interested in a new sport that was out, which is like kind of not CrossFit, but it was more like the bar work. I've seen a lot of the guys in New York were doing these, uh, you know, like pull-ups and push-ups and they have, they have a new competition. So I was really trying to, you know, focus on doing something like that. So I was getting my weight down. I was down, to, you know, right around 180. Really? Uh, yeah, I got down pretty thin, you know, I was really trying to get as light as I could. And then I heard word that they're going to have the 212 at the Arnold, and that really started firing up some, uh, some signals in my head to, to say, you know what, I can't bypass this because, you know, it's Arnold Classic. You know, you have the Olympia and the Arnold Classic, right. and it's the first, um, so how can I pass it up? So, I, you know, I said, you know what, let me put that on hold. I'm still going to incorporate that training, but I'm going to intertwine it with, back with the uh, powerlifting and, and bodybuilding movements. But, but talk about... <laughs> Because you told me this before we started shooting. Talk about when you submitted your name to the Arnold Classic. What, what happened? What, what was your mind, uh, frame, uh, frame of mind? Because you weren't sure if you were going to go back to the bodybuilding. like, ah, this is, you know, I want to do something else. or you know, so. Well, you mean, bodybuilding is always a part of me. This is what, how I got my name out there. Right. Um, even though I didn't want to do any bodybuilding, I still submitted my name because, again, this is, it's, it's so prestigious, the right. Arnold Classic. So it was kind of like, I'm going to submit. I'm probably going to get, you know, you know, uh, get the okay to do it, but I kind of, I'm not going to lie, I was kind of like hoping that maybe they wouldn't pick my name, you know? <laughs> no such <laughs> luck, they picked you. In a strange way, I was. I was like, I'll, I'll put my name in, I'm going to start training. If they don't pick it, oh well, it's cool, I'm totally cool with it, you know? Yeah, I think you were, uh, I think it was fate. I think you had to do the first Arnold Classic. So, right. if you put it that way, yeah, you know, I did look at it that way as well, you know? Yeah. I put in a lot of years in this sport, and I, I feel like, you know, by them picking my name, it's a chance for me to give back still. Yeah. So this it means it's something. Not, yeah, because it's not only about me, it's not about the individual, it's like, what can you bring to the table, and, you know, what can we share for the, with the rest of the bodybuilding fans out there? That's right, that's right. So. It's uh, going to be very, very exciting. We just had Hide also who, uh, before you who did, uh, who's going to do two as well. So this class is going to be stacked. I can't wait. That's going to be great uh, to see you guys up there. But uh, let's talk about business a little bit. You mentioned a couple of times that, you know, you've been, uh, I know you've been training people for a long time, including some, you know, high, um, uh, you know, high clients, you know, rap stars and all that stuff. But, but you've changed a couple of things with, with your company. And now you actually uh, have this. Can you show this? This uh, new T-shirt? Yeah. Nice. All right, so talk about this new physique incorporated company, which is a real company that you actually have now, so it seems a lot more legit and serious. So talk about that. Yeah, so Physique Inc. Uh, basically was developed by myself and my partner, whose name is Eric Marr, who is a former NPC judge, one of the originators of men's physique. Uh, we saw that there's obviously a change in the sport, uh, you know, uh, with the bikini and the men's physique. It's growing so fast. It's kind of like one of the, the uh, categories that's helped keep the industry going. Mm -hmm. um, so we figured, you know what, there's, it's so new, it's so ground level. I wanted to start a team, uh, whereas, you know, I have someone like me who has, you know, almost 20 year, years of experience with training and diet, and you have someone like Eric Meyer, who is an NPC judge, who knows all the rules and how you get should pose and whatnot. The yeah, the criteria is exactly. So, you know, having those two, us two as coaches, 
uh, I think we, you know, we, we're going to take advantage of, you know, uh, uh, being so new in this that we started a team. So basically what we do is we, we prep mostly men's physique, bodybuilding still, of course, bikini figure competitors and uh, get them ready for shows. Wow. And how did you get out there? How did you, I mean, how, first of all, how long, how long have you uh, made that partnership? Is it a while ago or is it fairly recent? You know, it, it's something that's been in my mind uh, in the works for a couple of years. I just couldn't fit the right pieces together. Mm. So I'd say we, we're basically one year in the making now, um, and uh, we've got you know a good handful of pros that we've already helped turn pro nice. uh, under our belt. So including guys like Danny Hester. Yeah. yeah. Well, weren't you happy for Dan or what? Oh my God, that's oh uh, 20 God. plus years of competing. You know, he finally got his pro card. You know, and I'm, I'm very proud to be a part of that. You know, he's unbelievable, that guy. Is. You guys could be brothers. Yeah. <laughs> you guys. Got, I was so happy. It's funny because we had him on the couch just before he got his pro card, and he brought his little dog, and he said, um, "You know, I really got to pass pro because Elvis, you know, wants to me to get my pro card before I die." <laughs> <laughs> so it was so great. He looked great, and yeah, he's such. He's one of the good guys at bodybuilding too. He talks about you all the time, by the way. Absolutely. So you know, and we're trying to get him ready for a pro show now too. By the way. Really? Yes. I was hoping he did the Arnold 212, but he decided to skip, which is hard to tell with him because he's such in good shape all the time. You never know if he's competing or not. You know. He's, yeah. He's yeah. Good, absolutely. So. He came. He came uh, yesterday to train with me. And I'm like looking at him like, why the hell are you more ripped than me right now? I'm like two weeks out from a show. This He's is ridiculous. not even suffering, man. Yeah, he just yeah. walks around like that. I hate right. him. <laughs> anyway, so, um, okay. So how do you uh, tell me how people can get, get in touch with you? Do you have a website? I'm, I'm sure they can get through you, uh, Facebook, but, but tell me how they can reach you. Yeah, if you want some information on our, our pricing and how we work and a little, about, a, a little bit about ourselves, uh, go to www.physiqueinc.net. Uh, also, you can follow us on um, Instagram, okay. Physique Inc., uh, Team Physique Inc., and as well as Facebook. Yeah, yeah. good, 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 good. So, um, well, that's that's awesome. You just actually have one of your clients that you brought today who just won last weekend. Is that correct? Or yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Brad and Jurtis, uh, he just won the overall in bodybuilding wow. and heavyweight. So uh, I'm very proud of him for that. So, yeah, it's Team Physique is on a roll. Yeah, you're racking up the champions. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Well, Dan, listen, I'm really glad you got the, took the time to come in today, two weeks before the show. I know how it is, you know, uh, two weeks before the show. Uh, you seem to be doing very well, not just with your family, with your business, and going back to the stage. And then we love having you, and uh, good luck with all your future venture. Yeah, thanks for having me once again. All right. This is Dave Mad Max 6 with Big Stan McQuay. Wishing you luck for the Arnold 2000, uh, 212, 2014, and we're out. MD is the biggest and baddest hardcore bodybuilder Mac and website in the world. MD is number one. No bull. <laughs>